Right. I was going to do... As I was doing the spells and then the I realized she does not have as many spells as Darren, so it's way easier. But, anyways... We need to head out. I still have no idea how to get over here. we did this already but let's do it again I'm the best are is his at the limit better than ours seriously how was that mo wait we have good mobility not athletics those athletics check yeah Ember, what? Ember, we left you there for. Em walking down the street in Alicia Naira, you see Ember. She is sitting on the ground, surrounded by demons, shielding a scrawny babao who looks like he's been beaten. Why are you doing this to him? You're hurting him. Hey, you little ragamuffin, we'll beat you up too. Who are you anyway? I I'm just a mortal, weak and silly. Compared to you, I'm a man. Uh, uh, compared to you, I'm a mayfly. One moment I'm here, the next I'm gone. You better listen to what I tell you because I've lived more than you have. Really? Ember, are you really? Are you going to preach to demons? Why not? Are demons worse than humans? The demon draws close to the girl and looks her over with contempt. What's with all the riddles? What do you mean you've lived more than us? It's very simple. I have I haven't lived very long, but I have friends, those I can protect, those who are glad to see me. There are many sad things, but I still know what happiness is. But you beating, biting, fearing, hating each other? Are you really happy? And if you aren't, is this any kind of life? So yeah, I've lived a lot, but you've spent centuries and centuries without really living. Oh. Bah. This mortal brat, this slump of meat is gonna preach to us? The demon gives a predatory sniff, bend down, and shows off its mouth filled with sharp teeth. You know what makes me happy? Gobbling up tasty pieces of meat like you. Ember looks at him serenely. She reaches out and strokes his horned head with a palm with a burnt palm. Poor thing. You are so hurt and scared all the time. You feel a bit better for a while when you're when you torture others and forget about your suffering. But is that really happiness? The demon recoils from a touch. There's a combination of surprise and terror on his fearsome face. Are you crazy or something? The demon stands around Ember. Their faces show caution and rapacious and, and rapacious interest. It is clear that they are simply af they are slightly afraid of the strange girl, who shows no fear, but at the same time, they see no obvious threat.
Ember. This demon is wounded. Words are well and good, but let's heal him. Oh, you're right. How embarrassing. There. Ember whispers a spell and the demon's wounds heal. Care serious? Are you really dropping a spell slot like that? Oh, the Babao. The Babao jumps up and runs away from Ember and the demons who are beating him. Screw you! I owe you nothing! Of course you don't! Ember smiles serenely. I helped you for no reason, just because I wanted to. I hope you'll be alright. Ha! For no reason? You're stupid. No one does anything without a reason. She's a witch. Probably wants to sell us something. Some magic potion or herbs? Come on, show us. What do you have? What? No, I'm not selling anything. I just wanted to tell you how much you're missing. I mean, you're free. Freer than anyone in the world. But you use this freedom to make others, to make life miserable. For yourself and everyone else. Just think about how much happier you could be. Ember keeps preaching. The demons listen. Occasionally interrupting with laughter and obscene jokes. Finally, they grow bored and walk away. They left. Do you think they understood anything? Hmm. Who knows? Even I'm intrigued to see how it will turn out. That is true. You're right. I want to help them so much, and how could I know what will work and what won't? Maybe in an hour's time, you and I won't be won't even be alive. Oh, morose, maybe. You know, I was thinking. I tried sending prayers to the demon lords, and I tried talking to demons in the street. But one of the demon lords lives right here in the city. Not Tickler, right? What if I try to talk to her? Not through, per not through prayer, but in person. Oh, are you serious? You're going to meet her sooner or later, aren't you? Please take me with you. I'm sure we'll meet face to face like you and I are talking right now. I'll be able to convince her to stop being so mean. Just take me to her. Promise? Arrange a meeting with Naticula for Ember. Interesting. This experiment has gone awry. Are you serious? Incomprehensible scrawls have been inscribed on the wall, written in one of the countless dialects of the... Come on, Ninio. You can do so much better. My skills were not enough. <sighs> Ugh, why are we healing? Not you, but not everyone, not Protection. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Darren, we don't have time for this. Guidance. Is there what? How did he go up but just him? Confidence on use magic device skill. Increase the caster level by four when you scroll. Ninio or Darren.
Linio. Carnage. Oh. Plus DC for all stamina throws. Ugh. She is a scroll savant. So we'll give. Are we doing this? Oh, no, we cannot. When do we get this? Oh, Darren, are you doing this again, my guy? That's. That's not going to work. Because of the magician. Magician. Uh, Magician's ring. Illusion by two. So we can technically. What other ring that we have? Prismatic. Let's take magicians off. Ah. A demon's head. The cut in the back in the neck area is unnaturally even. And was probably performed by magic. You have no idea how this horrible remains wound up among you. Yes, we do. We haven't done this in a while, so something's going on. How heavy is his head? Ten pounds. It looks like these rooftops can be used to bypass the guards and get in the streets from above. Ooh. On the route to another area of the city. Ah! My guy, are you kidding me? <sighs> I'm your blade. You know what? Oh, the waiting's never fun. Doesn't. You have so much stuff everywhere right now. Bless. Bless gives what? Saving throws against fear. That's not what I'm looking for. Um. Do you have. Who has it? Who has it? You have Blur. You do have this. Skill check. Heroism. Gray boy. Man, these rubble. Heroism. Oh, come on, Ninio. I welcome your company. <sighs> Let's try it again. endeavor you have to be kidding me you have to be kidding me okay something's up what's messing them up it's probably the armor athletics the chain it is oh Is there anything we have that can help with this? Let's do... My guy, you are not helping us at all. Protection potion of protection from arrows. Not can't you. You have 
But oh, why do you not have the second one? Actually. What is athletics? Athletics athletics is strength. Let's do Eagle Pop Bull. Oh. I may regret it, but I oh try to <sighs> we're gonna have to do Miss this every time he does this check. Actually, what is in Korea? Athletic. Plus 16. What is I? 9. 22. Minus. Yep, so it has to be him. 36. Rules are made to be broken. My skills were not enough. Guy, what are you rolling? Oh, that. Oh, that's annoying. When's our last save? Nowhere near. The odds are against us. It's against I you for that. sure. 36 DC, he can't make that. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. And let's do a cure moderate. Good enough. Gray boar. My guy. Stealth. Our priest. We gotta take that chainmail off. That actually sucks. I'm gonna put that on him though and just take it on and off whenever he needs to make this check. Demons, demons, and devils are three different types of creatures, each evil and dangerous in their own way. 
Damon's. Interesting. Yeah, almost there. Let's go. Ooh, finding our way again around Oceanera. In the strange abyssal realm, space itself behaves in weird, unpredictable ways. By turning the camera due south, north, east, and west, you can move parts of the city around, even floating islands opening. What? Save. down but it's a uh, athletics oh I guess that does make sense but I will fail to check another let's keep it what he has right now athletics up The demon looks bored out of his wits. He shows his attention to you and bark. What do you want? The guard takes a look, uh, takes a close look at Arushale and flashes an interested grin. Your face is familiar. Have we met before? Suddenly, recognition dawns on him. Arushale, is that you? You said they say you defected to the Crusaders, but I also said a rabid bitch like you would never deal with goody, with goody good mortal scum. Welcome home. I will let Alicia Naras missed you in your wild escapades. 
Arusha Lane brushes her lips and turns away, not deigning an answer. Her face grows deathly pale, and there is despair in her eyes. I want to know more about the city. The demon sighs heavily. Oh, these outsiders. Nautica commanded the guards to instruct our guests on local customs. We are, weapon we are welcoming... We are a welcoming city and happy to see you scum. I mean, happy to meet you exotic travelers. Anyway, here's a quick guide that will keep you alive in Alicia Naira. At all times, no matter what, you need to remember four things. Who rules the land under your feet, what they have forbidden you to do, who you can draw your weapon against, and who you want to avoid offending at all times. Seriously, you'd be better off impaling yourself on your own blade than going toe to toe with some of the, de the denizens of this place. Who finds things in the city? Nauticula? Who else? But she's busy sitting in her palace looking pretty and couldn't care less about our business here. This is why her psychopantia mirror, mistress of the harem of art and dreams, has the final word in the city's affair. It's not like she cares about what's happening either. She just singles someone out, accuses them of some misdeed, and sends them to the school in the cauldron of ball and filth. There's no real rhyme or reason to her behavior. She just does it to keep everyone in line. And well, it works. Though her power isn't unlimited, there are others in the city whose word carries a great a great deal of weight. Take Hamza Myra, for example. She has a great deal of influence despite being new here, not to mention a demon born of Baphomet. The city is her playground. Shamari is the only one she treats as an equal stuck up bitch. If I were you, I'll still, I'll still clear of Baphomet. Scheming jerks, a lot of them. Lady Lexia in the upper city, she's like the leader of Illusionara's elite. She's always gentle, speaks softly, never rips out anyone's throats in the streets. All in all, I never met a more sinister and grim creature in my entire life. Ermin Goodleth, the and Mangaleth, the master of the battle bliss, also commands some authority. He's a psychopath, even by local standards. This one time, he put on a show, he put on quite a show. He invited all the scum in the lower city to a free performance in the arena. Then he locked the gate and let loose a deep sea monster in the stands and announced it would cause 10 eyeballs for a demon to leave. Do you know Burgays? He used to have four eyes, now he has one. Uh, such slaughter. It always makes me glitty with excitement. I'm on the sucker by. Shavira is in charge. She's an angry bitch, but she uh, she acts sweeter than the right of the righteous man than the blood of a righteous man. Monago used to run the ten thousand delights until Shavira found her way in. Must be quite a weasel that one. Come to think of it, this city's chock full of bosses. Anywhere you have two demons, one will always be trying to crush the other one under its boots. What the locals law like? It's not like anyone in the Lucianara cares about laws, so we have almost none. Well, there are guards at the gate to keep rich, rich Raff out of the really nice places. Nauticula prohibits anyone from laying a figure on visitors from other planes. We're the trading hub of the Abyss, see? Everyone is welcome. Please come again. Thank you very much. But don't unclench your bowels just yet. All the... All of the above applies only to the real movers and shakers. The small, small fry are either eaten or enslaved. The slave cages are crammed full of extra, extra planar guests. I see. Then stop wasting my time going your merry way. What lies behind the gate? The lower city is disgusting in the middle heap and filthy scum. That's where Alicia Naira dumps everything it doesn't need. It's waste, it's losers, it's problems. A massive cesspool where the unwanted stew and ferment. And vague and occasionally produce something produce something of value. The only place worth mentioning is is the glad is the gladiator arena, the battle bliss. To tell the truth, it's getting it's been getting a little stale recently. They've pitting they they're pitting unskilled losers against veteran fighters, but the chumps die much quickly. Where's the scheming, the pain and anguish? They trip over their own feet get eviscerated, get, have their guts shoved down their throats, and then they just die. Where's the fun in that? The demon gives a nasty grin. What do you think I am? The demon gives you a praising look. <laughs> Nobody. You may have been a big deal in your world, but this is the abyss. If I haven't heard of you, then you're not famous enough to be of note. If you keep bothering me, you will become my lunch. Eating tiefling is almost like cannibalism, so much the better. I want to go through. <laughs> you want to visit the rest nest? Sure. Suit yourself. Ooh. I didn't realize we could go this way also. Alright, 
got some gold. Major meeting. Um, but what we need is I'm starting to reconsider Alexia. And I know I'm not I don't want to do the battle bliss. Walls are the material embodiment of any hierarchy. The invention of the social ladder by necessity entails the creation or offenses or offenses and barriers to a lift to illustrate the social boundaries separating the best from the worst. Even demons need walls if only to break through them and dub them with obscenities to show their disdain for the authorities. It is no wonder that then that in order to buy fresh and mirror's attention, one must overcome one of the most prestigious and well guarded borders in all of Alicia Naira and gain interest to the harem of art and dream. Mm. I think we'll still stick with Excel. If need be, we can we can kill her. I'm guessing. Without a doubt. Interesting. To the lower city. Haven't seen one of those in a minute. Is it not where we... Yep. To the Bad Luck Tavern, Nexus. So can we go through? was successful in my search. What did we see? For 
forwards. What trap? know what she saw because right now we don't see it. And I'm just saying and I'm just says trap. See you know why did you just spell something? Take a look. Get up there, I kill them all. They will break against our what? resolve. What? Now Tickly is a tyrant and a vicious bitch. I wish someone would scrape her off her throne and twist her neck. I hate her. Those freaks are whispering up there on the roof after driving us away. I wish I could spill their blood. So what are you waiting for? Climb up there and gut them. Oh, now you're shaking? Then shut your trap before they hear you. What activated this? That's some hefty dope and no mistake. I feel like I could rip the head off of everyone. Hey, you outsider. How about I rip your head off? What just happened? Do I want to do this in the abyss? Let's go. Darren. We do have this now. Swift. So I should understand that creatures find it more difficult to resist your spell as Swift. Let's instead 
Let's pop all your mage armor. I must have. my way. Slay my girl. Just use it. Are you still down? No, you aren't. Dead eye.
Next one, Matic. All right, let's give it to land. Let's choose. Doesn't someone have a crap one? You. What happened just now? World 29. A success worthy of praise. The signs on the wall indicate that a drug merchant can be found here in the abyss. There are many po poisons that can that can plunge mortals and even demons into nightmare. So that what just happened? Or the drugger? Is it you, my guy? It's time to draw knives and stab the guards. Solution Nero is a freak. What is going on in this freaking town? But in this city, something's going. Something's up. An uprising, maybe. Sway, sway. Our path leads on. Where there's a where they are though. I wish it was mapped out. But we do know there's one in a tavern for we wanna move. Guess again. I want to go this way though. Are you gonna let us stand? I want to go through. Demon sucks his teeth and replies. His voice changed for the lady blazing menace. No can do. This quarter is where decent people live. But they want to dismember someone, they can go down to the lower city. We're standing here so they won't be bothered by a rid raff, by riff raff, and one who that wants to dismember them. Believe me, you don't want to go there. The slave traders have magic collars that fasten themselves on the necks of chances such as yourself and drag them straight to the cages. Come on, Darren. The demon seems to have shrunk and lost most of his bluster. Eh, I don't care what Nocticula says. I'd rather live to see another day. Come on, hurry on through while I just happen to be looking the other way. <sighs> Not bad. The middle city. Let's destroy that. And guess what happened? Take swap out Ninio for Ember at some point. Don't mind Ninio. It's just 
I've already paid attention to her leveling as much as I have. Like, Embers is tailored to this party, honestly. Middle City. Oh, freaking worse. Muta Suffin. Muta Suffin. The demon looks frail and sickly. Especially in comparison to the mighty entourage that surrounds him. His voice sounds dull and tired, but his demeanor is calm and self-assured. He clearly believes himself to be in full control of the situation. A mortal with mythical abilities. How fortunate that you have made your way to the abyss. Moreover, you have come to Alicia Naira, which makes things even more convenient for me. Yes, what a struck of luck. You see, I need you to be my tech subject. And who are you? The demon remains silent for a moment. Either he is hesitant to reveal his name or he simply enjoys prolonging the suspense. I am Mudosafin. I am at present Hemsa Maru's most trusted alchemist. I am on an urgent mission for her. Perhaps you can even guess what that is. Xanther Vang was working on something similar in your world. Of course, it was a mistake to entrust su such work to someone who wasn't a demon. He did not fully appreciate the honor he was given. No wonder his enhanced demons couldn't protect them he, but it does not matter i am superior to him in all respects and i keep better pets